Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video on Floor Planner. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a magic layout. Magic layout, what is this? It is, you can just create the base of a room and after you can let the software just make the design for you and you can make then adjustment. Uh, if you like my video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and first link on the description, the complete course is available. So if you want to learn more about Floor Planner for internal design, you want to have a complete tutorial step by step to a perfectly master Floor Planner for all your different projects, this first link on the description, this complete course will be perfect for you nice structure, different type of example, and everything is seen in details. So first, let's start. I need to draw a room for this example. So I can use draw rooms and I can start from this point and I can go left click and enter two dimension. Let's just take an example with a first dimension like uh, six and I can create a second dimension. So comma and five. So I created, a, uh, I created a room six by five, so 30 meters square. After to do this work, um, you can use the magic, uh, you can use, for example, the magic layout. But the first thing that I'm going to do is to place the doors first. So I can position, why not, the doors here, because it will position the furniture depending also of your door and also of your window. And I can position a window. So place window, drag and move directly on this area. And we have this small room. So after, if you click on this room, one of the first things to do is to define what room type you want to have. Because you won't have the same uh, style, the same design with the same furniture, if it is a living room or if it is a, bed, a bathroom or if it is a kitchen or anything like this. So for example, if I select living room, I have a living room, 30 meters square, and I click again on this surface. Now you can find the magic layout. And if I click on magic layout, you can select a room style, like for example, it can be, um, I can select this style, Lena, and you can click on magic layout. It automatically is going to create a design, create a design with different type of furniture, respecting the fact that it is a living room and respecting the fact that it is the Lena style that I choose. And if you repeat the process, maybe you can have a different disposition about the furniture, like for example, this one, like for example, this one. Sometimes you can just also click on restyle. If I want a different style, I can click on magic layout again. And I would like to have a style like modern brightness. I can click on this one magic layout and automatically I will have this type of render. I would like something contemporary, magic layout and I can click here just like that. So this is the type of things that you can do. Um, let's try another one like basics and magic layout. So if for example I change and it was not a living room, so I'm just going to come back and click here, click here, click here, just at the beginning with only the window and only uh, the door. So this is living. I'm going to change that. I can click on this surface, change the room type, and this time we can select bedrooms. And he's going to create now a bedroom. So we will have a bed, we'll have a wardrobe, these different type of things. I can click again, left click, magic layout, select room style. Let's select, for example, a contrast style and I can apply magic layout. And we have this type of style with wise and black. I can use my 3D view also, work through. And I can go inside my room, take a glance about the design. And definitely it's nice, nice furnished. So if you don't have a lot of ID, uh, if you want to need help, you can use a magic layout. It is definitely a great option. If I just come back on 2D, let's try another one. I can click here, magic layout, just change the contrast. Uh, let's make something like uh, pastels and click on magic layout again. And I will obtain this one. I can try another one. 
just like this. So this is the type of thing that you can do. Each time you can try a lot of possibility, modern brightness again, and magic layout. Just like this. And after, if you want to remove element, it is possible. For example, I click on this element. This is a carpet I don't want. I can just click on this one and I can press delete. If I want to move this element, I can move this element. If I have too much, for example, a tree, I can remove this interior, this interior pl plant. I can drag and move this interior plant also. So after you can make what you want, you can add furniture or you can edit the furniture that you have. I can come back on 3D, just re recenter the view first and I can go inside with also. But definitely it is great because you can have a lot of ID and you can earn a lot of time because you can start with a base and after, depending of what you want to do, you can just edit at your convenience. So we are going to stop here with this magic layout. It is a great feature in Floor Planner. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. First link on the description, the complete course. I'm also an online teacher. So this is just simple tutorial, basic tutorial to discover the uh, software and what you will be able to do with this. After, if you want to learn more, if you want to have a lot of session, a nice course structure, everything will be on the first link on the description, floor planner, the complete course. And for the next video, see you. Ciao, ciao.